Finnish researchers wanted to see how our body changes when we're feeling different emotions, including anger, fear, disgust. And so they worked with about 701 people to see if they felt any type of changes, right? And then they had these composite sketches that show you exactly where you feel changes in your body as you are feeling these emotions. They wanted to test whether certain emotions elicit the same physical effects from person to person. Right? So they sat 701 people down and showed two human silhouettes alongside emotional stories, movies, or facial expressions. The participants were then asked to color the areas of the body where they felt increased activity with warm shades and to shade areas with decreased activities in blue. And it's kind of fascinating when you look at it because if you look at the red areas, that's where you're feeling the most activity. And with happiness, you feel activity all over. You're tingly, you're warm, everything's great. Uh, when you look at envy, you're a little hot-headed. With pride, you see the same thing. You see a lot of um, you know, red shading in the uh, upper portion of the body. With love, you see a lot of uh, similarities with love and happiness. I just thought it was so interesting. And with depression, of course, everything is blue. With neutral, everything is blue. And again, it's a composite sketch, so the majority of these people felt the exact same feelings. Yeah. You know, there's a lot to talk about here, but one thing I think is interesting is that the only thing that the whole body uh, feels is love, because the legs everywhere else yeah. are blue or black. So I think that's kind of interesting, that love is the one thing through the entire body. Wait a minute. Is that a happiness? No, oh, I'm happiness. sorry, I'm sorry, happiness. happiness. Oh, love doesn't, even, doesn't even make it there. So look at that, that's even more interesting then. Wow. Happiness may be more important than the love. The love is just from the thighs up. Yeah. My, my love for me is more from the waist down. But, uh, <laughs> I but didn't see that coming, Jimmy. <laughs> Give me something. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, but, but this is self-reported, right? This yeah, is self-reporting, yeah. yeah. And so what are some of the conclusions? Like, what is, is it, I, I don't, that's what I kind of would expect, actually, though. You know, yeah. all that stuff, right? And anger, hot-headed, and, because um, I feel that a lot. Do but you? Do you feel that right now? Um, what are you feeling right now, Jimmy? Uh, Where are you feeling warm? I feel horny. Are you? <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> no, he, he's, ex he, he's always horny these days. These days. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'm I, feeling neutral. I'm feeling blue. Really? Yeah. Mm. Uh, blue based on what that composite sketch indicates. Oh, yeah. Okay. So I, I, I'm wondering because it's all self-reported, how much of it is reality and how much of it is yeah. people thinking that they should feel something in their head because they're angry or whatever it may be. So, so there's probably a little bit of both. Um, but when you have 700 people, you generally get to a pretty reliable result. Definitely. Yeah. And also, I think that it is reasonable to believe that you do experience certain physical changes mm -hmm. as you're experiencing certain emotions. So for instance, you know, I don't know if it was a post game, but Jenk and I were talking about something fairly recently, and I got really embarrassed. And my entire face just turned bright red. Right? And I, and I wondered about that. How, how does your emotion lead you to feel that way, to actually have visible physical changes? But it does happen, so I do believe that, that it's true. But also, you know, mass media tells you that, you know, if you're angry, you're hot-headed. Are you really hot-headed? Is it something that's pushed by um, this stereotype? Or is it something that they're actually feeling? Which yeah. is what you said, Steve. Right, right. Uh, um, but uh, as to physiological changes, absolutely. I mean, you know, your emotional um, state definitely dictates your physi physiological um, uh, state as well as your well as the reverse so if you're feeling a certain way that might di dictate your emotions as well mm -hmm. so um, when I in college in one of my psych classes um, this professor uh, Daryl Bem he came up with this whole self-perception theory which is that uh, when you're acting a certain way your mind's eye kind of sees you so so let's say I'm like yelling at you mm -hmm. um, then my mind thinks well I'm yelling at you because you're a bad person or I don't like you or whatever it may be so my actions help form my uh, my my mental state and my my thoughts and beliefs about you which is not what people would, would normally think right you think you're acting that way because you already felt that but what he's saying is the reverse often happens, which is interesting, and he's done a lot of experiments that kind of so bear it out. So you're saying, for instance, somehow, like, uh, hey, if you're sad, smile, and the physicality of smiling will make you feel happier. Yes. Yeah, Th that I don't that is, well, there's I don't another, know if I'm yeah. that. this is true yeah. because yeah. they've done another Harvard study, 
where they do these things called power poses. And they noticed that, like, say, when someone wins a race, like in Istanbul, when he wins a race, he puts his arms up like this, like, I won. Mm -hmm. Well, when a blind person who's never seen anyone do that also wins something or does something that they feel victorious, mm -hmm. they also put their arms up like mm -hmm. this. So this person, so this one researcher started to think, well, what if we did that? And could it have the reverse effect? And, they, and it is true. So they did all these studies where they found that if you strike certain poses that make you feel more powerful or that are po they will, you will actually what's become your, what's your favorite pose Let's strike your favorite yeah, pose yeah what's your powerful pose i like the wonder woman <laughs> <laughs> Uh, no, so so that so I will do sometimes if I'm going if I'm feeling anxious I will actually do that pose for a while or this pose for two minutes mm -hmm. and it will actually change me physically and when I'll go on stage or something I'll be more confident and they have studied it. You really do that? Yes. So they have studied yes. Well, if I'm feeling anxious, which doesn't happen often before I go on stage, but sometimes it does, right? Really? So you yes. stand there and you go like this? So I'll for find a, a quiet. I'll go to the green room or somewhere and really I'll just stand right there now. like this for two minutes. Let's uh -huh. all feel powerful for a second. I'll just stand there like this for two minutes. Yeah. And, be yeah. and before oh, I need to, oh, I need to button good. my shirt, I think. <laughs> before you go before you go into a job interview or something, do this for two minutes, go in the bathroom and just stand there for two minutes like this and it will change because they that's how they gauged it on job interviews. They would yeah. have people and they would have people do certain poses before they went in and the subject who was judging them picked all the people who did the power poses mm -hmm. as the applicant they would hire. So this is true. It does work the other way. Wow. Exactly what you're yeah. saying. Mm -hmm. yeah, so yeah. And I, I think there's no doubt that, that uh, emotional responses give you a physiological effect. The, the one thing I can describe it to is when you're doing stand-up and when you're killing. I mean, mm -hmm. killing. Those moments when you're truly killing and you've got the room in the palm of your hands. Is to me, some of my material? when I usually, I steal. <laughs> so what I do is I stand in a room like this. I write down all of Jimmy Dore's jokes and then I get on stage. And it, it, to me, it feels like floating. I, I have a physical feeling of floating mm -hmm. almost like it's not even me standing there mm -hmm. I, I don't know what it what the the reality of I where that's coming the from. the first time that happened to me it lasted for almost two days it was yeah. unbelievable yes I'll never forget literally you feel like you're floating yeah. I'm not that is the like holy shit my life is going good yeah. it's a good feeling